I think Shaki would have been a blow for you guys not to play here. Um, we know what he can do with bat and his left arm spin would have been. Yeah, they have. I, I don't think there's one difference. I think there's many things that contribute. Um, I think the surface on day one was really good for the South Africans. It helped the seamers. It helped uh, the spinners. And the damage was kind of done once they bowled Bangladesh, not Bangladesh, Bangladesh <laughs> out for, for 106. Um, and then I suppose the ways the South Africa applied themselves to get that score once they got that first innings lead. I think if, if you're being brutally honest from a, a, the batting of Bangladesh perspective, um, I think in the first innings, I'm trying to think name Shadman, the way he got out, that, that first wicket was a bit loose for an opener. And then Mominil the next day when he came and faced Rabada, that shot he played. So I don't know, from, from their perspective, I think they do need people in the dressing room. I don't know what it's, the environment's like, but when you walk in there, you need to take responsibility for that wasn't my best shot and you know I'll try and make sure that I don't make that mistake again and I, and I think that's what they need I mean we've always seen Bangladesh as people with potential um, but I think it's got to this stage of their test playing nation career where I think people want to see more consistency we've seen some wonderful performances they go to New Zealand they win there they go to Pakistan they win there but I think the one thing that's missing is consistency and particularly when you come home you want to be more consistent yeah, that, it's not a perfect science. I mean, I've, I've played test matches where I've won the toss in South Africa and it's played completely differently. Um, that didn't look like it wasn't going to be a bad first wicket. And the other thing you've got to know is that if Aidan Markham had won that toss, he would have batted first as well. So I wouldn't go down that. Um, you know, if that wicket had been a day older, it probably would have played a lot better. But I just think that there's no doubt initially that new ball was flying through, it was bouncing and the spinners were we're getting some turns. So I wouldn't judge too much on the wicket. It's not a perfect science. You can't always work it out. Yes, you've got an advantage because you're playing more games you have to be able to see. But uh, I don't think that's the problem. Looking back, I, I would have thought maybe they could have gone with a second. I, I think I don't think the two off spinners were as effective as they were. Taja was brilliant. I mean, he bowled superbly throughout the game. I just don't think the two off spinners were as effective as they could have been. So you probably could have gone down the route of, of playing an extra seamer. Um, I mean, it's, it's always risky when you just pick up one fast bowler. I mean, it's probably less risky for you guys than it would be for us. But I think, uh, yeah, they might want to reach jig that when they get to, what's it called? Not Chittagong anymore, Chattagong. Chattagong. Yeah. <laughs> they might pick two there. No, I, I don't think, I think you want to back your strengths. Uh, you know, whatever wickets are going to be more helpful to you than the opposition, that's just stock standard wherever you go around the world, whether it be... You know, England would know what their strength is. Australia knows that their strength is pace and bounce. India knows that their strength is turn. Um, so, no, I don't think they need to go away from it. Um, you know, I was having, you have chats down there, and I think spinning department wise, I love the look of that leg spin. I can't remember his name. He played at the World Cup. Yeah, yeah. He, he looks good. So, I mean, if you can develop him, if you've got Tajul, if you've got uh, Mahedi. You know, if those three are your combinations in that, and then you've got two fast bowlers, that's key. But ideally, you don't want to be changing teams too much. So as you go around the world, South Africa changes one, maybe two players. Whereas I think you want to try and create, in order to create consistency, there's also consistency in selection. So the more you pick the same guys to play under different conditions, the more um, consistent they can be. I don't know, that one's a hard one. I suppose, yeah. to, just, I mean, all around as you, you got, I mean, I've seen Ashwin's record, so just because he's a spinner doesn't mean he doesn't count, he's not a rounder. You've got Ben Stokes. I think there's, there's plenty of good all-rounders. Um, I think, in all honesty, I think the word all-rounder is thrown a little, around a little bit too loosely these days because of the amount of T20 cricket we play. So if someone can bowl you an over and smack a few boundaries, he's an all-rounder. I think a genuine all-rounder is a little bit more than that. So those guys... Of the, are both uh, of the same. You know, Stokes, I think on his any bowling day, he can win your test match and on his batting day. And, and Ashman has shown bowling-wise, obviously, but even batting-wise, he's got himself some hundreds and can make a contribution. So, yeah, I, I think those would, was probably good. I mean, I think Shaki would have been a blow for you guys not to play here. Um, we know what he can do with bat and his left arm spin would have been pretty effective, but uh, I don't know what's 
because I'm behind the scenes and I don't want to get into that. He just finished his test career, I think. He's going to check all the sun. So, yeah. uh, how can you describe their team as a, as a uh, great player? How can you describe him? Well, I think just from a distance, I wouldn't know the details intricately with regards to his performances. And you know, I haven't seen as much as you guys have seen, but we've always appreciated him, respected him from the way he's gone about it. He didn't come to South Africa on the last trip. He missed out on that one, which is unfortunate. I was looking to see him play there. Um, but yeah, to average what he has, to bat in the positions, to have led the side from time to time, to be a a senior player and and obviously his batting contributions, bowling contributions. I think he's been fantastic. For more updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Download T Sports app to enjoy exciting games and highlights. Visit tsports.com.